up, breathe. We're here, we've made it. <laughs> She's like, where the hell are we? Get out of there. All right, stay. Stay, stay, stay. No, we're not, <laughs> why are you going back in there? We have made it, we're on yet another adventure. Lucky and I are in a new state, we're just in Illinois, and now we've landed in New Mexico. It's kind of a game day decision type move. I bought this ticket last night and we're here. Uh, I'm gonna get her leashed up and we're gonna go get an Uber to this specific location where I'm gonna pick up, where I'm gonna pick up this very specific item. I thought it'd be a good little uh, trip for Lucky and I. Kinda get some fresh air, right Toot? Why do you keep going back in there? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Here you go. Come on, there, come here. Hey, no, 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 come over here. No, 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 no. I don't have a leash on you yet. Okay, so this is the big surprise, the big moment. For those of you guys who've been following me for quite some time, know that I've been coming to New Mexico for one sole reason, and that is to get vehicles worked on. The first time I came here, I got the supercharger, the Magnuson, installed in the 4Runner. The second time I came here was to suss out some details for a completely new vehicle build, and that is exactly what I'm looking at right now. You guys can't see it because it's behind you. This has been a long process, but it's it's finally here, almost. I emphasize on the almost because while what you're about to see looks finished, there's just a few minor details that aren't complete, and I'll explain why I'm picking it up now opposed to waiting. But here she is. You guys ready for this? This is huge. What do you think, Lucky? Did you take a road trip in this thing? She's like, wow, this is a new car. <laughs> okay, a quick little backstory for this vehicle for those of you guys who have not been keeping up to date with the whole storyline of this. A long time ago, a very long time ago, I think it was like last year, it's been about a year, I purchased a uh, pretty pretty dodgy Land Cruiser. I think it was an O2, it was the Maroon Mobile, and I had this big aspiration to build a vehicle that I could take off-road, that I could do big tours with, and also use as my fishing mobile. I shipped that vehicle from Illinois, where I purchased it, to this very shop, and unfortunately, it was just a bit of a headache. There was too much frame rust in the vehicle to do anything, any sort of modifications on it. So that really bummed me out. I was legitimately freaking out. I just spent 12 grand on this really cool Land Cruiser that I thought was perfect in my you know, unexperienced eyes. Fast forward a few months after that, Walt, who is one of the owners of this shop and basically does all the operations here, found me this vehicle right here. I think it was like a buddy of his or someone that he knew, an acquaintance that was trying to get rid of this LX470, which is essentially, which is essentially like the same platform as Land Cruiser, but basically it was an overall better car. Less miles, it was a newer vehicle, it didn't have any frame rust, so therefore it was like a no-brainer. With the help of a few more thousand dollars, of course, and uh, Walt, I was able to essentially do a swap for the maroon Land Cruiser for this now silver beauty. It was almost kind of like a blessing in disguise the fact that it didn't work out with the red car and now we are with this. I don't want to bore you guys with too much details but I feel like a story needs to be said because you guys probably haven't seen this car. I think I might have hinted it in the Never Stop Tour and the reason why I flew down here was not to check it out but basically to pick it up and drive it from here in New Mexico back home in Texas which is about a 10 hour drive. So basically I flew from Illinois this morning, pulled up here in an Uber from the airport and now I'm going to take this thing for a drive for the first time. I've never turned the in this vehicle. There's a lot going on, I'm super overwhelmed, but to summarize it, I'm just like so stoked that I'm finally gonna get a chance to take this thing home. I'll talk more about the build and we'll go over the build sheet because I know a lot of you guys are interested in that, but my God, she is just beautiful. Here we go. Oh, and that right there is the first time I have turned the key to the brand new LX470. By the way, you guys, for those of you who don't know, this is a 2006 LX470. It's a 100 series Lexus Land Cruiser, whatever you want to call it. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a weird feeling. I have not driven this car, let alone been in it, ever. This is like my first ever time turning the key to the vehicle. This is my dream touring, fishing, off-roading whip. And it's taken a long time to get here. A few mistakes along the road, but we're here now and I'm in the vehicle and it feels absolutely surreal well so from here on out i get to fully get acquainted with this car and drive it from here to my home back in texas that's about a nine hour drive so what a better way to, to really learn about a car than to take it on a monster road trip with your wiener dog which by the way is back there straight chilling what do you think nugget so yeah i just signed the paperwork i got the temporary tags for this car we are officially legal and ready to go let's uh 
let's go on a road trip. Well, so far so boring. There's not much to see on the drive from New Mexico to Texas, but I'm making some headway. I'm only I'm only a, a crisp, cool seven hours and 49 minutes away from my house. So we're cooking. I'm getting pretty tired and I just checked my ETA is like 1 a.m. So yeah, uh, I'll let you know how it goes here in the probably next hour or so. Still trucking. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I am now leaving New Mexico. We're out of New Mexico. We're in Texas. Unfortunately, Texas is the size of Russia, so that doesn't mean I'm getting close. I still have another six hours till I get even near my home. Oh, there's the, there's the sign. It says, welcome. It says, welcome to Texas. Drive friendly, the Texas way. You know, that's actually pretty true. People in Texas drive fairly friendly. But it's kind of a broad statement though, because you've got like San Antonio drivers, Houston drivers, Fort Worth drivers, Dallas drivers. So I guess it's kind of a general statement. I don't know, I might take that back. I think most people in Texas drive pretty well. Anyway, I, uh, yeah, that's it. I need to stop and get something to eat. I'm really looking for like a fuzzies or like maybe like a Torchy's taco or something. As you can see, there's <laughs> there's not a whole lot of that around. So I'm basically just driving until I find some really good food. Then I'm gonna put the, put the LX 470 in park and we're gonna grab some grub. First ever grub in the brand new car. We gotta christen it with some tacos. That's the only fitting way to eat some fresh food in the whip. I've got very good news. I actually managed to find a fuzzy. So right now I'm in Amarillo, Texas. Is it Amarillo or Amarillo? Ooh, I'm about to get torn apart in the comments, aren't I? It's called Amarillo for now. I found a fuzzy's mission accomplished. I have not eaten all damn day. So this is going to be, um, huge for me this is a big big moment you guys so i think the game plan is here to grab some food get it to go and then come back out here and talk about what i actually had done with this vehicle because i know a lot of you guys who watch my videos are curious about vehicle builds and uh are probably wondering what the hell i got done with this once stock lx 470 so um bear with me one moment i'm gonna grab some tacos and i'll meet you in a second okay i've been waiting for this moment for Six hours now? Super, super overrated, but so damn good. Oh no, it spilled. Oh my, oh. Oh, I've got fajita everywhere. Promised that I would go over some of the big features and characteristics of this vehicle and kind of briefly discuss why I got it built because you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of videos of me around this uh, Lexus, this new car. Anyway, let me pull up the build sheet real quick and give you guys a, a quick synopsis of what's important about this thing, at least for some of you guys that are into, you know, uh, overland vehicles and trucks and so on and so forth. I'm not going to bore you too much. That's not for you. Fajita bowl is not for you. Sauce, I got to get the chimichurri sauce out before we get going. Oh, fuck. I just got chimichurri sauce everywhere. Okay, this is a absolute gong show. I literally just got chimichurri sauce all over my brand new car. Oh my Lord. This is all your fault, you know, because I bought a wiener dog. So what I got going, so the actual, hey, watch out, watch out. So first and foremost, this is a 2006 Series 100 LX470. This started off as a completely base vehicle, no additions with 102,000 miles on it. What's been done to the back is there's been a goose geared seat delete, which means that there's no second or third row seats anymore. There's now gonna be a goose gear 400 sleeping platform that's gonna be outfitted for the Series 100 Land Cruiser. And there's also two goose gear sliding drawers which I can put like, you know, my clothes in or tackle, whatever. And on top of the Goose Gear drawers, there is a Dometic 40 watt freezer slash fridge system that can keep my stuff extremely cold and also freeze meats. On top, there's a front runner roof rack uh, paired with a front runner pro table that I can take out and use for catch and cooks or editing, whatever. There's a pro kayak carrier right next to that and a slide awning that I can use to kind of keep cool if I'm on the camping scene. The wheels are probably my favorite part about this vehicle. Uh, I've actually got the same wheels on my 4Runner. They're Method 701 matte blacks or 17 inch wheels, I believe, 17 and a half. I'm not 100% sure. And then with that, we've got 33 inch Toyo open country rugged terrains. As you can see, this is just a juicy stage one off-roading build. I don't know. There's a lot that can be done to this vehicle thus far. I would call this 
or TAV would call this like more or less a stage one build, maybe like a stage 1.5 build. So it's a work in progress, but I like it so far. It fits what I need. I need a touring vehicle, I need a fishing vehicle, and I need something that I can basically go on and off road with. Like I don't wanna get stuck, I can't get stuck. So uh, that's why I chose the Land Cruiser platform. It's reliable, it's super capable when going off road. It's just a classic. Yes, it's a Lexus, I get it, but just think of it as a Land Cruiser, okay? Think of it as the old maroon Land Cruiser, a little bit newer, less miles, and in my opinion, just a little bit sexier. Anyway, those are the build details. I know I kind of went in too depth there, but I wanted to shed some light on the vehicle that we are filming this video in right now, because that's exciting, this is huge. My dream car, here it is. Oh, I just realized the horn doesn't work. Probably need to get that fixed too. I was gonna honk the horn in excitement, but uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish my uh, fajita bowl and then I'll catch you guys back on the road. What do we have left, Lucky? How much longer? How much longer until we're home? One hour and 42 minutes to be exact. This was a fun road trip, but I am definitely ready to go lay down in my bed and pass out. This drive has been pretty boring. Not gonna lie, not much going on. If you ever done this drive before, you know how it is. It's a lot of, it's a whole lot of nothing. A lot of, a lot of Love's gas stations, a lot of Flying J's. I'm actually at Love's right now. Fuel it up. Yeah. Hey, shout out. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, definitely, there you go. Yeah, what up, man? Up? Hell yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's the perks of uh, filling up at 1 a.m. in the middle of nowhere, Texas. You meet some pretty interesting characters. Like, think about it. Like, people are looking at me in this lifted Lexus with a little wiener dog filming himself. Pretty weird if you think about it. Should be the last fill up of the night. Like I said, I got like 100 miles left, so it should be pretty breezy. Like, settle. Settle down. Holy titties, Lucky! We're almost there! We are so close. I can smell Fort Worth from here. It smells Fort Worthy. I reckon I'm probably 15 minutes from the house, but I figure I'd give you guys an update before I pull into my driveway because this is just such a huge moment for me because this is it. I've done basically nine hours in the brand new vehicle and it, I love this thing. I was so concerned as to how it would drive. Seeing as it is an off-roading slash stage one overland vehicle um, and it feels like I'm driving my 400. Only a little bit taller and uh, instead of a, a bowl, there's a big L in the front of my vehicle. But this is sick. I didn't mean to wake you up, I just want you to know we're almost there. You excited? We're very close. You gotta go poop? I gotta go poop. Oh my God, I can't believe I did the whole thing. It's, uh, what time is it? Oh my God, it's 2 a.m. Can't believe I started off on a plane from Illinois to New Mexico, picked up my brand new vehicle, broke it in with a, just a breezy nine hour drive, and I'm here. I would honk my horn, but uh, it doesn't work. All right, there's one thing we have to do before calling it a complete night. We gotta test out these cubes, see how bright they actually are. Holy moly. <laughs> Those are pretty bright. <laughs> I'm excited to learn about this vehicle. I, like this is, I don't know if you guys realize this, but this is a dream come true. It's a huge moment. To finally have something that I can call my home on wheels, it's 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 pretty emotional. And then to break it in on this drive is cool. Do it with the pop. This is such a special truck. I'm gonna pull one last U-turn. I'm gonna head into my driveway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you sticking with it. Stay tuned. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. And as always, folks, keep driving. Never stop.